Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to continue our operational settings in the C2100 terminal. We've got a 9980 windrower here um, and we'll start a video where we're working on the settings in the cab. So we're going to talk about setting the joystick buttons on the 9980 in this C2100 console. So we touch the button and now it brings us up to all of the functions that we can set. So all of the top ones here, except for the grayed out auto steer one, um, are resettable or, or interchangeable, I guess is the right word. Um, the auto steer one always stays as the auto steer button, but to do any of these other ones, like right now you can see they're set as nudge buttons, right? So your left and right nudge, it's a one touch setup. Um, basically what you do is you touch that box. It brings you up all of the boxes that you're allowed to put in there. Um, if So we're working on the first page. If there's a second page, it shows you two and then you hit that button and it gives you the rest of the functions that you can add into there. Now typically, typically what we like to see in there is we like to see these three buttons to start with so left and right nudge and then this one here recenters your line to the center of the machine so at the end of the pass when you go to recenter all you do is hit that button on the joystick and it will recenter that line to the center of your machine you make your turn away you go the last one you can see here is uh, is interchangeable with a bunch of different things um, you you can have any one of those buttons in there. Um, there's there's a couple of nice ones here. Uh, one of them is a button like that, and what that setup does is it engages your auto steer and drops your header when you one touch that button. So you make your turn, one touch that button, and your auto steer is engaged, and your header gets dropped all at once, so you don't have multiple tasks to perform. So you can pick whatever you want on that top line. On the bottom ones, this end button always stays as header, raise, and lower. This one always stays as tilt. All of these ones are interchangeable and you can go in there again. You touch the box. It will show you what you can change it to. You select the one that you want and it adds it in there and you've got the buttons all set up for you. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, make sure that you give one of us a call. We can probably work through it with you. Thanks for watching.